I'm Owen Boyd, the Chief Technology Officer at Toppen Dental. Um, bringing a new technology to dental waterline disinfection. Most technologies today require chemicals to be put in line. Most of those chemicals uh, form byproducts that are harmful to dental staff, dental patients, and the dentists themselves. We have a technology here where in essence we can put that product in between the water bottle or the water delivery system and the handpiece. What's inside this little cartridge, which lasts for one year with no maintenance, is a chemistry that is uh, highly active in terms of its cation surface. Boiled down, what that means is any bacteria or virus that goes by this will have its outer ring of electrons stripped and it's destroyed through a process called lysis. And that all occurs within one tenth of one second. The importance of that or the significance of that is when you use things like chlorine or iodine as a disinfectant uh, chemistry, you're putting something in the water that has reactions, but its effective kill time is in terms of minutes, 30 to 90 minutes is how most of the studies show their kills. We're doing all our kill rate in one tenth of one second with all our sampling. So it's a, an exciting technology to bring into the dental unit water line. So it kills any bacteria present in water as the water passes by the device. The secondary component that we're looking at of importance is bacteria is very, very clever in uh, providing housing for its counterparts. That housing is called biofilm. Biofilm, really tough to kill. Things like bleach, ineffective at killing biofilm. Iodine, chloramines, uh, you know, even sodium chloride salts have virtually no effect uh, on a biofilm other than maybe anger it. So it produces more what's called free-floating bacteria. So what we want to do is be able to have a method of taking the water bottle filling it with a solution of water that has a minor concentration of ozone. Ozone will kill biofilm. It'll destroy it. It's also harmless to the patient. So we have something, a product here that can be mounted on the wall. It's water in, ozonated water out. You fill the uh, water bottle, which would be a bottle like this. Is a, essentially in every U.S. chair. That water bottle, once that's inserted into the chair, that's going to put ozonated water up the line and be, from there to the handpiece, it'll destroy all the bacteria and all the biofilm. So you'll have, you can expect a zero CFU count uh, at the handpiece. Now to put that in perspective, the uh, ADA recommends 500 CFUs, colony forming units, at the handpiece. Uh, the European Union recommends 100 CFUs at the handpiece. So we have a long way to go to catch up. I recommend none. I don't know about you, I don't really like any bacteria that may harm me floating around because it multiplies incredibly fast. 500 CFUs at the handpiece in the morning is, would mean unchecked over a million CFUs by the end of the day. So ozone, is it deadly? Because you always hear about ozone warnings. Ozone, when it's in water, is not only harmless, it's actually good for you. This is a uh, point of generation ozone generator. So it, every time you pull the trigger, generates ozonated water that can be used to disinfect any surface. It works better than chlorine, it works better than bleach, it works better than silver, it works better than uh, iodine, or any of your other chemistries that say, please open all the windows because we don't want to harm you. This won't harm you. This will do a better job at disinfection and is so harmless that you can drink it. And it'll actually be health beneficial, not harmful. So all the free aerosols that are floating around in dental offices, we can eliminate that by the use of intelligent use of disinfection chemicals that don't use harmful pesticides. This is oxygen. Ozone is O3. It's oxygen. It's unstable, so it likes to go back to water or oxygen within 15 to 30 minutes. 
This also is quite an effective cleaner as well. So not only can you disinfect a surface, it'll clean surfaces. Uh, used in many, many industries today, not many people are aware of it, but in the dental industry, throwing ozone into chairside uh, bottles to protect bacteria and biofilm from growing in the lines uh, is probably the most uh, beneficial way of doing chairside disinfection. That with the QDFX media as a you know, primary and secondary disinfection, you can virtually guarantee there's no colony forming units at your handpiece, meaning no bacteria to the patient, no bacteria in the aerosols generated, uh, and no potential for cross-contamination between patients. Because that residual ozone in the line, if something checks back, uh, which often happens in the dental setting, it's killed immediately by any residual ozone. So that's kind of the reason for having primary and secondary disinfection. Good news, it's also less time consuming and less expensive than what people are doing today.